Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> All right, so this is Joey Albert <laughs> <laughs> on mix in her performance of Tell Me. Tell me. Tell me why my neck hurts. Why did you need to take a chill pill, bro? <laughs> Old school TV. On a mezzo soprano range. She's a bit, yeah, I was about to say, wouldn't this be like uh, what you call mezzo it? soprano? But she also has I alto think this qualities. Is, this is an alto who is singing on a mezzo soprano range. Ah. So I see why this was suggested because you have there naturally, she naturally gravitates towards the lower end of things, uh, and you can hear it really clear in the in the vocalization of certain choices. Uh, but it's on a it's the the song is composed for a mezzo or or in a mezzo range. So right. you're talking about huge flexibility and so you can, okay, expertise so of the larynx. Good example that I guess you can do many things yeah, regardless of you're, what your natural uh, kick, yeah, I guess predisposition maybe. Absolutely, you you uh, that's the beauty about singing. You can always nurture it you can always work towards it because there are muscles at the end of the day you work them out right. uh, so you can work towards a higher range or a lower range you can always you're never boxed really right. and i think that that's the beauty of it of course you there's there's a moment where you just caps yeah, reach, reach a limit but uh there, there there there's always the opportunity to keep exploring in the in-betweens and this is a great example of but that. if you think you've hit your limit you're probably wrong it's a good way to yes, judge it. Yes, I totally agree. Bless you. I'm so sorry. Where did I go wrong? Mm. You see, you by the pulling back. You're mine completely. Those choices are really cool. Very thin, full setting right towards the end. Whoa, that's so nice. Absolutely stunning. I want to hear her lower range stuff now. Props to everybody involved in the production. There we go. Mm, do you hear the body? You also hear the growth in confidence in the in the in the in the vocal expertise of things. Fuller. It's fuller. It's it and in chief. It, it like sinks into her right. rather than than the delicate really refined choices at the beginning also a flatter tongue not so much of a of a slight tongue right. which which means that there is less effort being exerted oh i see mm -hmm. Oh, 
Ouch, it's got a beautiful modulation. Que son, son City. Son Endeja, la Sunny. Son Herrera. Oh, that's beautiful. 2002, wow. 2002? Wow, I like what her. a time to be alive. So it would be pronounced Joey Albert, I think. Joey. I think, I think it's Joey. I'm not too sure. God, I don't know how to say it so I can look. I'll see it this way. Mm -hmm. I do apologize, guys. I don't know if this is annoying to see. Um, <laughs> something, something that I think is, is very cool I, and probably makes themselves a lot of credit for this is that it does it does allow those environments for like uh, that kind of emptiness and, and obviously it is an outro, so I guess that's kind of what you look for. Well, no. Usually you want to end with a bang. Well, it depends what singer you have. Ah, it depends. It's so I sure. guess if you have a singer like this and the piece... Send kinda... them home with like... Serenity and peace. Yeah, I guess what a good show does is whichever whichever singer and decision you decide to go for, you amplify whatever choice they decided to make. That's right. And you allow them. It's like it's like giving the right pair of shoes to the right athlete. Mm. But you know, you would give studs to a footballer, not to a baseball player. Yeah. You know, and yes, maybe they. You know, maybe baseball is not as entertaining as football. As football is not interested in training as baseball, whatever your decision is. But you want to try and give them the equipment that would make them play their best, regardless of which athlete you decided to showcase. Of course. You I, want mean, to I highlight... think that's a way complex analogy. <laughs> it's like you want to highlight what, what the artist or the athlete's best qualities are. Forget about my analogy. <laughs> I think my pain is delusion. It, it's uh, causing... Cri hallucinations in your in brain in my mind <laughs> yeah I would think the so the concoction of thoughts I have right now <laughs> it's beyond belief I believe right you. now I see a flamingo dancing in a disco room <laughs> and you know what that's with a, a disco hippopotamus. ball <laughs> nice Ephra well done I, I'm, I'm happy for you <laughs> well a monkey it's nuts who is nuts chipmunks no what yeah nuts are not eaten by monkeys okay mainly apes chimpanzees and stuff no, sorry, chipmunks. Yeah, chipmunks eat nuts. Mm. Monkeys eat bananas. Mm -hmm. Or as they call them, back home, kambur. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? I don't know. Why is that funny? I don't kambur. get it. I wonder yeah, what kambur. you call... How, what do you call bananas in the Philippines? Bananas. No, I bet they call them kambur as well. I'm going to put some money on that. <laughs> uh, how much is quite a bit of money, but not enough to make me broke. <laughs> Five pesos. <laughs> five pesos. I'll put five pesos in there.